Hey guys, welcome back. Like I said for my last week's analysis of Petra, I'll do an analysis on Katrina Leinsberger. She skied exceptional and has some of the things in her skiing which I'm trying to incorporate into my skiing personally. So let's get into it. Straight off the bat, in contrast with what I was going over last week in regards to Ninja Turtleneck, Katrina is the opposite. She has impeccable posture and presents herself like a ballerina when she skis. Her head, her back, her shoulders are always in perfect position. Neutral, stable, which allows her to keep her head stable and her vision looking down the course. She never overbends at the waist, getting into a full taco position or at the knee, which keeps her very centered. Overall, it gives an elegant, graceful posture to her skiing. I personally think this has a knock-on effect to how she holds her arms, never letting either of them drop. She does play the harp and the technique of harp playing also might help her head and shoulder posture as this is one of the staples in harp technique which is impeccable posture and hand position. I'm not saying dropping the inside hand is the worst thing in the world, it is just something that I'm not trying to do personally in my short turns and I think Katrina demonstrates this perfectly. Even when, in this instance, the slalom gate slaps her skis, this momentarily disengages them and she crosses her tips also and she didn't drop a hand or budge an inch. This was extremely impressive. It is like her upper body was glued in this position. It shows her natural reaction that has been ingrained through hours of repetition. Even here, as it drops over into the steeps where she moves the inside hand a little too far with the shoulders, her inside hand looks as if it's about to drop and then in a split section she corrects it and it's in perfect position again. Super balance and great coordination. If I had to speculate or guess, I would say she has been doing extensive work skiing without poles in the course and a lot of upper body variation stabilization drills without poles, with poles, for example, the one behind your back and in front of your hips. She would probably be doing a lot of those ones. She looks like a skiing ballerina, easy, fluid, graceful, and it is really, really nice to watch. The other thing I really like is her stance width. A lot of slalom skiers now are skiing with a narrower stance, which is how I personally like to ski, but there are benefits for slalom skiing. And where it is possible, the inside ski is closer to the outside ski, which means if you take a tighter line, the outside ski travels less distance, this also has allowed her to not over edge. She only gets the minimum edge angle required to make the turn, which is really fast. She had some interesting equipment setup issues last season. She was skiing with Kasley and wasn't able to ski with them on the Austrian ski team. So she was forced to sign a contract with Rosignol if she wanted to be able to be on the team and race in the World Cup. I think that this is a shame as she obviously feels really good on the Castlay skis and it would have been nice to see her on equipment that she was the most comfortable on. She won two silver medals at the World Junior Championships in Davos in 2018 and Orde in 2017. Her first podium in the World Cup was in January 2019 in Flachau, placing third. I'm really looking forward to watching her ski more this winter. She's really, really nice to watch. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe. And if learning to ski better is your goal, please go check out projectedproductions.com. Until next time.